Iris Cole, the founder of anti-vaccine group Healing the Divide, allegedly told more than 3,700 group members to harass doctors at vaccination centers in 2021 during Singapore's fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. She also allegedly told members to hinder the work of staff at the Ministry of Health MOH and the Ministry of Social and Family Development MSF by flooding their hotlines with calls to demand they follow up on their cases. Co. 48, who has been accused of making false representations to MOH, was given five new charges on May 9. She now faces 14 charges in total and appeared calm when they were read to her in court. She was previously known by her full name, Iris Ko Shu Siai, but court records now show her name as Iris Ko CLP. Healing the Divide is a group formed in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and claims to warn people about the dangers of vaccination. Of her new charges, two are over abetting the obstruction of a public servant in their work. On October 11, 2021, she allegedly encouraged two. 828 members of the Healing the Divide discussion Telegram group chat to flood MOH and MSF hotlines with calls, demanding that they be escalated for follow-up by the ministry's staff. On the same day, Co allegedly gave another 879 members in the Healing the Divide channel Telegram group similar instructions. Court documents did not say what the calls were about. Co was also given two charges of abetting harassment on December 27, 2021, by purportedly instigating members in those two Telegram group chats to harass doctors at vaccination centres. She allegedly advised parents of young children to book a COVID-19 vaccination slot for their child and question the doctor at the vaccination centre about vaccination safety. She allegedly advised them to ask the doctor for permission to record their answers and consider reporting them to the Singapore Medical Council if the doctor declined their request. Ko was also given one charge of organising a public assembly without a permit. On December 25, 2021, near Bidok Police Division headquarters, she allegedly distributed T-shirts with the slogan, United We Stand for Choice, healing the divide to her group's members. She allegedly encouraged them to wear the T-shirts and took photos with them. She was granted bail of $30,000. Her case will be next heard on May 17. Cole had previously faced nine charges, seven of which relate to alleged false representations made to MOH involving COVID-19 vaccination certificates. She is accused of committing the offences with then-general practitioner Gibson Kuo. 36, and seven other people, Mr. Gary Do Kong Chung, Mr. Cedric Lim Jiang Ki, at Muhammad Daniel Lim, Ms. Amy Lee, Ms. Kerry Tan Kia Lee, Mr. Stephen Teo, Mr. Bobby Teo and Wan Go Yao Chen, on seven occasions, between 2021 and 2022. They had allegedly made false representations to MOH that Mr. Do, Mr. Lim, Ms. Lee, Ms. Tang, Mr. Stephen Teo, Mr. Bobby Teo and Wan Go to a book had been given the Sinopharm vaccine. When they had not. They purportedly did this so they could each obtain a certificate of vaccination against COVID-19. Co also faces one count of fabricating false evidence where she allegedly instigated one T Hui Yi on November 5, 2021, to be falsely certified to be of unsound mind. Ko is also accused of tearing up a printed copy of her statement recorded on January 25, 2022, at Police Cantonment Complex.